your boy same old mistakes from heaven back with another video and we are at the same point at just about any given dragon ball z arc goku or some derivative of goku some fusion of goku allows the main villain to live because he's a boastful idiotic knuckles i'm trying not to curse um <laughs> and in this i think we've had a pretty big uh, revelation as a community that super as a manga at least is unsavable uh unsalvageable and probably doomed to end any goodwill that occurred with the beginning of this arc uh i've rarely seen community flip as quick as i've seen this community flip after goku gave moro the the uh sensu bean uh i believe it was two chapters ago the sense of being trying to bring him back, yada yada. Goku beat him down again. He's about to put about to put him in a coffin and um, let him fuse with the planet instead of just hurry up and get over with. Much akin to Vegeta uh, versus Golden Frieza, uh, Goku against Golden Frieza. Uh, <laughs> most people against anybody that's a villain in Dragon Ball. And here we are, moral consumer of worlds. So I wanted to do like a, I guess a, a review instead of a live read, but I seem to believe I'm under the auspices that people enjoy the live read more, eat the emotion. My camera, not an ideal situation. I am not holding a shirt. I'm still counting Yu-Gi-Oh cards to see the value of my deck, and maybe I'll do a video on that if people want to see that. But chapter 66, um, people are reacting to what's currently happening, more of fusing with the planet. Um, damn it, Kakarot, you've managed to screw up again. Pretty much the synopsis of Dragon Ball. Or at least post-Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball. Dude, this is one of the most disgusting-looking faces I've ever seen in an anime. Look how fucking grody he looks like. Oh, no! Come on, man. Jesus, are they really going to have it? Now, this, is the, this is the one last thing I was thinking. They just couldn't allow it to happen in this arc. They could not allow Bears or Whis to come through and save Goku's ass. That was the one thing I was like, they can't do after they... Oh, my goodness. Okay, that's I, I, I fuck with that. They, they turn it on their head. All right. I, 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 I like that. I like that they... They still had we help Goku, but in the end, um, they at least avoid him directly doing it. It still doesn't feel good. It still sucks. I, I'll give Kishimoto's understudy uh, a pound the back. Not Kishimoto. <laughs> Toriyama's understanding uh, understudy a pound in the back for at least flipping down his head. I think that's pretty entertaining. I forgot his name. This is like the first time I forgot his name. I I, I, don't, I can't believe. I could go look it back on page one. But yes, I curse my bad. Bleep it. <laughs> We're gonna keep on going. Oh, is he using spirit fishing? Oh, okay, Vegeta. Are you gonna do like a dragon fist situation? Okay, that's cool. I, I don't, you know, I, I think it'll look cool in the anime. That's all I can say at this point. That's all I can really. That's like pretty much all the praise I can give most of Dragon Ball for the past five or six chapters. The last good chapter to me was when they had Goku fight Moro uh, MUI versus the um, 73 Absorbed Moro. That was like the last good chapter. Uh, and that was like just pure like really interesting looking fighting sequences. God power. Who's he going to get? Piccolo? I don't know. Oh man, they're gonna go they're gonna do the whole Broly thing again, huh? That's pretty cool. I mean that's a good flashback. Here's the problem though. Everything that's cool in, in, in Dragon Ball is literally a flashback of something else that happened twenty years ago. They what's the last time you seen other than well I won't say other I won't even exclude it. But uh, like the obvious one is kind of what they did with Goku Black, um and the, the Zamasu art where they finally had an evil Goku, quote unquote. 
other than that, what's like the last cool thing that's really occurred in Dragon Ball as original? I don't know. I, I I don't remember anything original that's happened in the entirety of Super that that felt you know cool. Everything else is a flashback, to something else that was cool, and this is you know a flashback to um I I mean technically Battle of Gods the 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 Saiyan ritual which was cool. I mean that was original because I mean it's not exactly exactly the same as the Broly. Um, feeding energy to, to Goku for the, the fist or um, I think it's happened a couple different times obviously the spirit bomb and the kid blue art not quite the same that was original technically but I mean look at this point I mean look at it like it's literally like pretty much just like the spirit bomb uh, arc you're asking Dendi to give power to everybody or to be a vessel to give power to everybody they're literally even doing the same spirit. Holy shit. Goodness gracious. He needs God key. Who is he going to get it from? Oh, Majin Buu. Oh, Majin Buu has a God in him. I forgot. I forgot. Okay, that's what they're getting. Okay. The moral is disgusting. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> what did the troops say? The <laughs> Truth had a funny ass tweet that used uh that that picture of uh of fucking uh Mora. That's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> we gotta get Goku back. <laughs> I'm gonna die a bachelor. <laughs> Goodness gracious. That's huge. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. That's massive. Holy fuck. That's a new thumbnail. Oh my god. I don't give a fuck about spoilers. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's the first time they... There, there was one scene earlier in Dragon Ball Super that I think they acknowledged Oob. I think it was the existence of Oob, but it wasn't... It was like a quick flash. Oh, my God. That's fucking huge. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Wow, that's fucking crazy. And, of course, the great lords of power... The great lords of divine power must have gone to the evil half of the Majin Buu during the split. So, it kind of cucked uh, Majin Buu in his full power. And also cucked uh, Kid Buu a little bit. Wow, holy shit. Oh my god, that's huge. Oob has god power. I mean, that's I'd never even consider that. Because, I mean, everybody thought all the Kai's were... All their power was within Majin Buu, who's the lasting version of Buu on the planet. I think most of us just assumed that Oob was literally just... A, like a good version, a good human version of Kid Boo. Like, like he didn't have the same legacy or anything. Holy shit, bro. That's pretty fucking hype. I'm now, as much of a pessimist as I've been, you can't. Dude, look at that Avatar stage. <laughs> oh my god, this dude has like a, a, a perfect Susano. <laughs> That's fucking incredible, bro. There was a fucking avatar state. Okay, I listen. I can't even hate. That is simply sensational. <laughs> that is the greatest couple of pages I've ever seen in the Dragon Ball Super manga at any point. I this this that was this fucking incredible. <laughs> Yeah, if, if. <laughs> and then they end with the, the thumbs up. Go, all right. That that is bar none the best panel. Um, just oob, just oob the best panel in Dragon Ball Super history, without any kind of reconciliance or any kind of acknowledgement for anything else. Um. 
All right, this is where I ended at. So this truth, I think, is a pretty huge Dragon Ball. Uh, has a Dragon Ball, pretty a huge Dragon Ball boner. Fuck me, one. We'll just keep it going. Um, kind of really, really love this one. Uh, testing Goresh, um, the homie Goresh, and he he says, uh, "You ready for UI Goku on the, the giant category?" Which that's what we just kind of saw there. And then someone says this. Yeah, me either. He compares it to Perfect Susano. Listen, that is that a rip from Perfect Susano? Maybe. I think the um No, no, I was thinking about the, the Avatar state that Korra went into. That came after Perfect Susano. Um so yeah, I guess Perfect Susano. What the fuck is the fuck is truth doing, bro? <laughs> is truth still simple at the time? <laughs> Yo, Truth. Truth is an asshole on Twitter, bro. <laughs> anyway, I thought he was going to cover the... He had some um, tweet that revolved around that panel from um, from the the, the, the meme faced by, by uh, my moral. But... Yeah, that was just simply sensational. Uh, so that's it for me. Amazing chapter. Well, amazing end to the chapter. Uh, that that was probably literally that was the best ending you could have asked for with how shit the past three chapters have been. That was literally as good as you could have possibly even thought about. Like, I I don't know. I want to see what Afro Central was talking about, but I don't believe he ends up talking about this chapter very much. All right, let's get out of here.